Hello and welcome. This is our mystery deck unwrapping video. This is post Chris Ramsey, which was great. We loved it. Um, thank, thank you, you Chris. Chris. Um, but we wanted to do our own video only to give you a little more insight and information on all of the decks in this year's collection, that being 25. Um, I think this is the most decks we've included in Mystery Decks. Yeah, it's since, the most decks we've included, we and it has the most exclusive. Most exclusive, that being 12. 12 exclusive decks this year that you can currently only get in Mystery Decks, which are selling fast and usually always sell out by Christmas, and that's our goal this year, so uh, that's why we're doing this video, to make that happen. <laughs> but let's get started, because this is going to take uh, some time. No, thanks for joining us. Um, what I love about this year's Mystery Deck release is the wrapping in particular. Uh, we did something really unique this year in that it's not just a, an envelope style, but uh, actually it's inspired by a, a Japanese style of wrapping uh, based on techniques in, um, of origami. And so there's a seal and if we rip this open, you can see that the, the wrapping actually unfolds like a piece of origami. Um, really neat. There you have it. On the inside of the wrapper is what looks like shoots and ladders, but it's actually a puzzle. So there's a, a word to decipher. Um, that word might come as no surprise, but uh, it's fun to decipher something a little extra. And what I love about the wrapping is the paper starts as a rectangle and it wraps all the way around the deck. And so it really is impossible to peek at what's inside without wrapping or unwrapping the deck. Yeah. So there's no way to like open a corner and see what's inside. You really do have to completely unwrap. Which was always a comment from you guys in previous years. So uh, thanks for the feedback. And this year we made it impossible for you to peek. <laughs> Peeking. Uh, speaking of Japanese inspired, this is ramen heads inspired by uh, like a vintage ramen joint. Um, I love the artwork on this. I love the color palette. The box feels so great. It's all letter pressed. Really cool teal accent uh, with, this, with the sticker seal. Details throughout. And this deck features some really awesome artwork. Um, full color back design, which we love doing. There you can see bowl of ramen with the sun, uh, but check out these court cards. So custom, custom suits, custom typeface, but wait for it, there you have references to pop culture for all the court cards. They're all eating ramen, so you have like <laughs> Gojia and a geisha and a robot and a tiger and uh, here's a deer a cat mask. Um, these are awesome. They're so cool. Uh, Chris Ramsey just posted a video of his top five favorite decks of 2022 and it was really cool to be featured on that list. These were number five. So thank you Chris. We, we appreciate the love. Uh, these are exclusive to this year's mystery deck. So if you are interested in these, well, pick up a few mystery decks. Up next we have Red Wheels. This is one of Classic. our all-time best-selling decks. This deck is maybe 10 years old? I don't know. No, it's one it's not no, 10, no, no, no. This is an early Art of Play release. It is an early and We haven't been around 10 years yet. Uh, but yeah, this is one of our classics inspired by, of course, the classic bicycle rider back. rider back. This is just a modern interpretation of that. Over the years, we've done a bunch of different colors. There's a couple other colors in here. Yeah, There's including the exclusive. The gold wheels and, and the exclusive purple, purple. purple wheels, yeah. Or aubergine. But we're not gonna show you all of these. A lot of them um, you've seen, but the new ones will definitely show oh, you. Oh, wow, what two coincidences oh, yeah. in a row. So we have uh, the purple wheels. We'll just add that to the DK and G pile. There's one more to come. Up next, we have. If if you can tell that some of these are already open, and it's because see the cell wrap. It's because this is take two. <laughs> Unfortunately, the we, camera died. Yeah, we're not very good at this. Uh, Lady Moon, another classic art of play deck. This is one of our best sellers. We love this deck, 
And for Mystery Deck this year, we did something exclusive with a reprint. We changed the back design. If you're familiar with this deck, you'll remember that the back was all gold. For this Mystery Deck inclusion, we changed it to a multicolor back design, which looks beautiful. So it mimics the box, and you can see that. And if you're not familiar with these cards, the core cards are incredible. Beautifully designed by Kelly Thorne. She did a phenomenal job on these. All the cards are our ladies with this really cool style reminiscent of an old tarot deck. I love this deck. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Moving on. We should guess what we're opening. But then that would ruin the surprise. I don't know. Oh, these are fun. These are the tempo playing cards inspired by the golden age of jazz. I love these so much. Again. These feel so nice. This is one of the few boxes we've done that is actually screen printed. Uh, it's not something that's easily achieved on a scale this small, um, but it works so well with this style box, with this artwork. There you have the back design, another multi-color back design. We love doing multiple colors on the back. It just feels so alive, as do these cards. They really do come alive. You can see all the, all the details just come off the card just full of energy. Court cards are so awesome. This is, this is an awesome uncut sheet. If you can get your hands on an uncut sheet, it would just like be a conversation piece in any room. These are so cool. These are the tempo playing cards. Very cool. All right, up next. Ooh, Just Type. This is a recent release on Art of Play. Also, each deck comes with a little sticker. Um, I think there's 10 different stickers or different little characters. Um, but yeah, these are incredible. There's two versions of this deck, just type one and just type two. This is version one designed by Pentagram, an incredible design and ad agency in New York. Um, and this was spearheaded by Paula Shear, who's an icon in the graphic design world. Um, she specializes in typography and these are truly incredible. I love this deck so much. Here's the back. It is one way, but it doesn't matter because it's still beautiful. We should just go through all the cards so you can see how clever yeah. these came together. So here's the ace. It might take you a second to see it, but the entire image forms an A. Here's a two. Here's a three. A four. Yeah, so clever. A five. A six. This is another uncut sheet. If you can get Seven. your hands on one. And what I mean by that is Eight. they are rare. The sheets are pretty rare. Nine. Ten. And then here's the letters. There's the J. The Q. And the K. So cool. Paula did an amazing job. This is one of my, my new favorite decks. Um, I love this style of art. Um, which is very Bauhaus, mid-century. Um, but yeah, these are great. And we, we will be opening, uh, oh my gosh, I keep doing that. Nice. <laughs> that wasn't planned. Uh, this is the addition two to the Just Type Playing Cards. These are a lot of fun. You can see all of the, the, um, the values of the cards on the front and in the back of the box. And that actually makes up the back design here. So really bold in your face, catches the eye from across the room, as do the face cards. So it's just a celebration of typography, and who better to do it than, than the goddess of type herself, Paula Cher. And extremely playable, just because it's so simple. Like, here's the four. I here. love the four. Yeah. I love how the spade just comes yeah. in. Yeah, it's one of my like favorites. A shooting star. And the five, too. It just becomes part of the design, like a transformation deck. These are so great. Yeah, it reminds me of like old... It looks like a little mushroom um, grown. Yeah, it's a happy Blocks mushroom. for kids, like number blocks, kind of. These are so cool. Yeah. These are it's great. It's just like, you know, you look at these and you're like, oh, that's, yeah, that's cool. But it's like, it, it takes a genius to, to think of this. And, you know, when it's understated in that way, I, it's easy to, to gloss over it. But I think it deserves appreciation. So here we are producing a deck celebrating type. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. We've got 
Ah, oh, fantastic. This is great. This is one of my favorites in the collection this These year. These are fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a reissue of a very old deck uh, that we released on Dan and Dave over 10 years ago. Uh, very old. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is properly done with a beautiful letterpress printed box with this nice engraved foil typography on the front. The inside is printed as well with this ornate pattern. And what's unique about this deck is that it animates. So as you riffle the cards, I don't know then if you'll be able to pick it up on camera, but you can see an illusion comes to life. A lady gets sawn in half as a tree blooms from between her and uh, musicians play their instruments around her. It's pretty um, surreal. A it note is... to old um, illusions of the vaudevillian days. Um, this is just a great deck, super unique. Designed by Sveta Dorshiva from Israel. She's an amazing artist. Yeah, you I have to look her up on Instagram. You follow her yeah. on Instagram. Truly incredible work. She does some really, really beautiful, surreal, abstract. Uh, Grotesque. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. it really catches your eyes. Very, very fantastical. Hence, we call them fantastic. Um, my turn. This is so cool. I've never opened so many mystery decks in my life. Well, except maybe because we just, just did this. Yeah, actually, that's not true. This is the second time I've opened this many. Oh, uh, these are special. This is um, this is a real prize. If you get if you unwrap one of these, you got your money's worth for the whole lot. <laughs> um, Basically, yeah. These are a deck that have been a uh, code name called uh, Void If removed right or over I mean everyone calls them over the oh right? overlook okay yeah. the seal there's no name on them whatsoever it just the seal says void if removed um, there's no name there's no branding there's yeah nothing. there's yeah. nothing on them they're very uh, enigmatic mystique um, they're based on the shining film uh, this is a pattern of the labyrinth or the maze no labyrinth yeah maze I don't know Hed hedge maze yeah <laughs> uh, on the back design we shouldn't open these right no let's not open it okay the back design features the the iconic carpet pattern from the film and there's subtle references to the movie throughout the deck it's not an official license it's more of a, a celebration it's my my um, celebration of my favorite movie The Shining there right. we have it up next we have last year's exclusive Art of Play brand deck. This was an exclusive release from last year's mystery deck and we had a few left over um, so we included them in this year's mix. These have never been sold on their own so it is truly a rare deck to find um, and I'm not going to show you because it's sometimes fun to discover what they look like on your own but uh, this is a real treat in this year's collection. Very cool. Ooh, the ultimate deck. This is one of the... This deck actually came out before Art of Play. This deck is now 10 years old. In fact, it just celebrated its 10-year 10, 10 anniversary on December 12th. Um, this is one of our most popular, most successful, most shared decks. Uh, it just kind of went viral when it released in that every design blog we, we followed or could think of sort of featured it and so it's been a bestseller ever since. I mean rightfully so because every card was designed by a different artist Look at these, it, just in their so own unique style. It's just like we're looking through an art book. It's an art book that can live on the coffee table. Um, it's just so fun to, to shuffle and discover a new design. Even 10 years later we look through this and find something new. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's just so so classy, so simple. But yeah, there's just so many cool things in here. I love this, it's almost, it's definitely inspired by a transformation deck and that the pattern from the, the footprint actually makes up the nine diamonds. So yeah, this is the ultimate deck designed by Stranger and Stranger. Really, really cool. Yeah, that looks great. We also sell the uncut sheets of these and that makes for an awesome piece of art to hang on the wall. Ooh, Jungle. This is a reissue. Um, this is a deck we released years ago, 
designed by Moody, uh, a, a design agency in South Africa. And it's been sold out for years, but we reprinted it exclusively for Mystery Decks and we changed up the back design um, a little bit. So it's different from the first edition in that the back design is actually a multicolor back. It looks great. Uh, but yeah, that's another this exclusive. Is super colorful. All the all the face cards on these are different. Oh, the face cards are amazing. Yeah, we should show them because yeah. they're really, they're super fun. We love doing custom face cards. We do it when we can. We have a lot of fun doing the jacks, the queens, the kings, coming up with custom typefaces. Um, the one thing we haven't come up with is how to quickly open the cellophane. Yeah, why do we <laughs> suck at this? <laughs> We don't open it up. You have to. You can't be good at everything. <laughs> All right. Which is a lot of things. <laughs> there we go. It's a good thing that we pre-opened all of the decks because that would take up ten minutes alone. All right. Here we go. Cool. All right. Here's the new multicolor back design. Nice. Which is great, and then the face cards. Are so fun. Let's see what we've got. Here's the aces, custom aces. We've got here's the jack. So each one is completely unique. I'll go through another set. Yeah, super fun. This is a great deck. What's cool too is we also include a, a blank version. So what's fun oh, is yeah. you, you can take like a set of, of markers, like a like fine tip markers and color your own back design. That's very cool. Yeah. All right, next deck. Ooh, we should save this one for last. <laughs> now this is this is another one of those prize decks. If you're a card collector, uh, you're probably familiar with this. This is if an octopus could palm commemorative playing cards. These were released in conjunction with the book we put out last year celebrating the 10th anniversary of If an Octopus Could Palm, which is a book on sleight of hand card technique. And uh, it's just a fun novelty deck featuring a really cool illustration from Jonathan Burton, uh, one of our favorite illustrators. And uh, yeah, we've included a handful of these, I think the last of them, right? The last of them. In this yeah. year's mystery deck release. And so again, if you open if you open one of these out of a batch, you you got your money's worth. I mean, you truthfully though, all of the decks included in this year's mystery decks are valued at more than you would pay for a single deck. In some cases, by a lot. I mean, there's decks yeah. here that sell for fifty-two dollars. How much do these sell for on eBay? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I'm gonna say well enough. Vertigo. This is a deck we made with Fulton, uh, which he released a couple months ago. And is currently available exclusively in our mystery deck but will be available uh, early next year on its own but it's so cool to be able to do a deck with Hitchcock uh, one of the greatest directors of all time and one of the greatest graphic designers of all time Paul Rand who did the oh, artwork. Saul Bass. Saul Bass. Paul Saul Bass. Yeah, yeah. Paul Rand is also great. Why did I say Paul Rand? <laughs> Saul Bass. I don't know why he said that. Oh, there's another project we're working on. That's what happens when you do two takes. When you do two many decks. You're hungry and <laughs> you're tired and you have a cold. But the back design is the classic, the iconic film poster, which is great. And then for I think the, I think it's the most iconic film poster of all time. Possibly. Yeah. yeah. And then of course the core cards are inspired by the title sequence of the film. Um, if you haven't seen the film, I encourage you to watch it. It's one of Hitchcock's underdog films, um, which is truly great. Yeah, his, what, what's so great about his title sequences is they really are part of the story. They, they really do tell, they hint at a lot of things. Um, and I think that's something that more graphic designers yeah, should Yeah, I like just the minimal quality of this back design. It's just super nice and, and pleasing to play with. It's not in your face like sometimes back to designs can be. <laughs> and if you bring these hunting, you won't have to worry about getting shot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're so they're like that hunter orange, yeah. Um, oh cool. These are the gold wheels. This is a 
a limited edition version of the DKNG uh, color wheels we put out. Uh, these are actually printed with gold foil. So these are really special. We sell them for a premium price. Um, and we didn't make very many of these, so they're somewhat somewhat rare. But yeah, we can add those to the pile of uh, DKNG cards. Moving along, we'll speed things up a little bit. We've got the balance, black balance. We came out with these last year as part of our mystery deck collection. Um, we released those last year for Black Friday. Yeah, as well. Um, this is a version of an earlier colorway we did a couple years ago, which has since sold out. Um, but these are great, very classy. Can open them up. Yeah, I'll open so them quickly. up. The back design is all black. It looks look great. Um, so cool, fan. Yeah, Sick. and then this really cool deco style to it. Very classy, very bit, high end. Yeah, a little bit Bauhaus, a little bit deco. Minimal core cards are amazing. I love the uh, multicolor ones with the red and the gold. Yeah, look how nice that looks. Super sexy. This is a great deck. Very classy. Yeah, yeah. You could you could use this at like a black tie affair if you. I don't know if you go to those. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. We go hiking. Um, oh, yes. Oh, these are awesome. These. This is. I think this is the deck I'm most excited about in out of all of these this year. Uh, I had a lot of fun putting this together over the summer. Um, it pulls from a lot of the assets we use in our branding, and therefore we call it, uh, it's one of our Art of Play brand decks, and we've codenamed it Curious Wonders because it's full of curious wonders. <laughs> uh, there's a really fun seal. These were printed in Taiwan by Legends, and we've been printing more and more decks with Legends. Uh, they allow us to experiment with the paper, with the printing techniques, with the finish. And so it's a lot of fun to try these things out. These cards handle phenomenally. Um, they fan well, they spring well, they shuffle well, they ferro well. We just couldn't be happier with how these turned out. And they're printed with foil, so really beautiful. Um, it's a premium deck. These currently are only available in mystery decks, but we do plan on putting them out um, by themselves sometime next year. These are really nice. I love these. I yeah, love that's, these. that's one of my favorites for sure. Oh, speaking of favorites, this is another favorite and exclusive. Look how cool that looks. <laughs> um, the idea for these came about um, from our colleague Adam Rubin suggesting we do rainbow plaids. So we did rainbow plaids. And you can't, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but this is. This is a rainbow plaid. It's multicolor. It's more of a, they're more muted, more earthy than, than vibrant. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit subdued, understated. But they also have an off-white printing overall, the design. So it's not like a stark white. Um, and they have these really fun, whimsical, vintage, fairy tale-esque illustrations on the Jokers, on the Ace of Spades, and of course on the box. The box has this design on the front, which is these sort of weird fairies interacting with plants. It's really they were, cool. They, they <laughs> clearly took some mushrooms. I don't yeah. know what's going on there. Uh, on the box it says Epiphany's a Wicked Curious Mind. We call them the Grimlore Tartans. So we recreated a, a tartan pattern and this is available as part of this year's mystery deck exclusively. So, yeah, really cool. Kind of fun. Ooh, the black and white addition to the Starburst Eames. This is uh, a new colorway for our Eames Starburst. If you're familiar with uh, the Eames Starburst we released last year, this is just a brand new colorway. Um, those are the extra cards. And there you have it. It's just a black and white edition. Uh, it is, unlike the previous editions, this is actually, this has no background fill. So this doesn't have any cream color. These are just a true black and white edition of the Starburst, exclusively in mystery decks. We'll try to make this video not much longer. <laughs> <laughs> Cybernetic playing cards. This is a great deck we released. Uh, Earlier this year in January, um, 
feels like so long ago. Uh, but this was designed in collaboration with an incredible man, an artist, an author, and inventor, inventor, and just, escape artist, <laughs> uh, puzzle, puzzle designer, yeah. toy maker. Yeah, he's done it all, um, and he's 97 years old and still kicking it. His name's Ivan Moscovich, and he invented a machine called the Harmonograph, and it allows the creation Which of these looks really like cool blueprint. geometric um, Yeah, so each card in this deck is unique in that it showcases an original piece of art that he created with his Harmonograph. So these are Harmonograms. And these are showcased in, showcased in museums, museums galleries. and galleries all over the world. And we actually have a collection of these available. originals in our shop. Um, they're not cheap. They're $2,500 each, but they are selling. And they're signed by Ivan. They're great pieces. It's a one-of-one yeah. one piece of art. So if you can't afford that, we also have this deck, which showcases them all. And this makes another great uncut sheet, which is also available on our site. But uh, this is a great deck, yeah. Cybernetic Playing Cards by Ivan Muscovich. Ooh, cool. This is this year's version of the James Coffee Playing Cards. Uh, this is a re-release of what we did last year, but in green. It's a really nice, really nice color green. It's like a forest green. Uh, our shop in San Diego, the Play Capsule, is within the James Coffee flagship space. And so every year we collaborate with them on a deck of cards, and this is this year's collaboration exclusively in the street decks. Ooh, Makers. Makers is a deck Dave and I put out years ago designed by an incredible artist, Chad Michael. Um, this specific version is printed with foil on the back of the card. Super luxurious, very fancy. Um, and just look how intricate the design is. And imagine that all, all the, details. the core cards have that same sort of quality and aesthetic. Um, this is a $52 deck, so it just goes to show you the value you get in mystery decks this year. Just three left. Cool. This is a brand new limited edition release of Smokey Bear. Um, we released Smokey Bear a few years ago, and every year we do a limited edition version, and this year's version is yellow. It's like this nice mustard seed yellow. Really, really cool. The artwork's the same. Really awesome illustrations of Woodland Creatures by Sam Larson. Sam's one of our favorite illustrators. He just does so, he's phenomenal. We just love his style. And all the court cards have a different Woodland Creature. So these are the new Smoky Bears. Very cool. Two left, two to go. Um, we got through this a second time. <laughs> Messy Ma, this is a great deck. Uh, these actually sold out. So version one sold out earlier this year, and that gave us the idea to do a second edition. Um, so we reached out to this guy. And new, have, new, yeah, new back design, new, back design, new box, box, new seal. Seal is great. And I love the box. The box turned out so nice. It's like a red foil, but it has a. It's like this holographic, holographic red, red foil, with a with a silver. Looks great. Let me open these up because the back, as you can see, is very different from the first edition. We did away with the borders, so it's solid black. It looks great in fans. Yeah, this is a very classy deck. And the face cards are the same, but so cool. So awesome. I love this style. So those are the Messy Mod V2s, currently only available in Mystery Decks. And last but not least... Ooh. A brand new release for us. These are the Dreyfus Art Playing Cards, designed by Ashley Dreyfus. Uh, we met Ashley, she's from Boise, Idaho, which is where we live. And uh, it was an honor to work with her on these cards. Uh, she's just an amazing person, a fantastic designer. We love her style, we love color. And these cards are full of color, just right off. You have a wild card full of color. Awesome artwork on all the, all the face cards. Just every card has a really fun illustration in her style. This is her trademark style, featuring her her alter egos. Yeah, these as are she awesome. calls them, original typeface and, and uh, suit designs. 
These are just so much fun. Very 60s, very psychedelic, very colorful. These are awesome. These are the Dreyfus Art Plan cards. Wow, we did it. <laughs> Second Thank time. You. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking around. You know, we have we have a surprise for those of you who yeah, have made it. made it to the end. We really do this, appreciate what, 30, it. 30 minute video. Wow. Um, you know what? I'm even going to throw this one back in. <laughs> I didn't even see you take that. <laughs> I took a few more. No, I didn't. All right, so we have 25 decks. Uh, granted, they are all opened. Uh, most of no, them no, are opened. The rare ones Yeah, are the not. rare ones. We do not open the rare ones, but you're welcome. Yeah. Regardless, it's we're going to give it all away. Uh, super simple. All you have to do is leave a comment. You can leave more than one comment. Uh, make it nice. <laughs> And on January 1st, 2023, you might need to remind us. Yeah, we forget. <laughs> We're going to use a, a website that randomly picks a number. <laughs> a website on the interwebs. Yeah, and that number is going to correspond to a comment. And that person who left that comment, regardless of whether you left a thousand other comments, is going to win all of this. And so... We really appreciate you sticking around. We appreciate... And as they say, like and subscribe. <laughs> well, I always wanted to say that. Not true. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Cheers.